My chess friends, I hope you're all doing well, today is an exciting day for me because I managed to defeat the highly rated Alpha Zero with a 4500 LO in a brilliant chess game. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving, let's get started, I started the game with e4, we have e5 knight to f3 knight f6 and Rui Lopez opening, I can choose Alapin structure in my next move if desirable, castle or Berlin defense where I will put my bishop on c2 square to have control on this diagonal, knight c3 is an another variation, knight f6 d3 bishop c5 and we have c3, this move is an evidence that I want my bishop on this square and queen d3 can be played in the future. My knight has a great strategy to involve it on center or the king side. You must not ever stop being whimsical and you must not, ever, give anyone else the responsibility for your life, couple of moves later we have knight d2, I am progressing in my game as my plan, ok a6 bishop a4, bishop a7 rook e1, d6 knight f1 h6 and we have knight g3, two of my courageous knights have secured control over several crucial squares on the king side, bishops have a great diagonal on this circumstance, castle h3 knight h7 and after two moves later I strike in the center with d4. Capturing the pawn isn't the best because it will open up the half e file, after capturing the pawn the c file will be open too, for this reason alpha played queen f6, knight h5 queen backs bishop e3, queen d2 can be played in next move to attack in the king side, so g6 knight h3, this pawn is under attack so knight g5, knight h2 queen f6 and I played my 4200 LO rated move, f4, alpha takes it, rook f1 to pin the f-pawn, knight e6 to protect it. If you play d5 to target both of the knights then black will capture the bishop on e3, black will save his e6 knight, and the game will be completely over for white. We must be willing to let go of the life we have planned, so as to have the life that is waiting for us, so I move back my knight on e2, g5 by alpha 0, black have some weakness on these square, king h1 queen g6 bishop, d2 knight g7 and I sacrificed, the bishop, if you capture the bishop, then after knight takes f4, position will be dead lost for the black queen, if queen h7 happen then knight d5 will come to give a fork on f6 square, so in this position. If black decided to play queen g5 then knight will come anyway to fork them, king here knight f3 to target it, queen back c5 and that's it, no matter where the queen will run, black will face tornado in his king side, there are several reasons why you shouldn't move the queen, so if you dare to play bishop f5, then white will play knight h4 to fork the queen and bishop. Life is a mirror and will reflect back to the thinker what he thinks into it, so back to the position, if queen f6 happen then white will choose knight d5, exactly the same strategy that white follows, forking the pieces, king slides queen d2 and I hope that I don't need to explain this. Variation to you, so back to the position, 4500 LO rated alpha 0 king played f5, he isn't fool like a human who is more engaged with material, h4 and the bishop can't taken, if black plays pawn takes h4 then just move back the bishop on d2, f takes e4 bishop b3 check, the king can't go there because of bishop f7, bishop will fork your important pieces, so after bishop e6 knight f4, the position will be quite challenging for black, you know after queen f6. Knight g4 move completely destroys the black king position. To me, if life boils down to one thing, it's movement. To live is to keep moving, so back to the position, we have knight e7, queen d2 to access to this diagonal and chess friends, if you want to play like stockfish then you can subscribe to my youtube channel, takes takes, the queen is under attack so after the queen moves we have g4, if you dare to capture the h4 pawn, let me show you the variation, g takes pawn and the g file is wide open for white's benefit, first of all f6 is coming, so after knight h5 rook g1 check, king h7 rook g4, queen backs and white wins the knight, queen has to move back then white will double up his rooks, king backs knight f3, the black's position is completely paralyzed and white will just in few moves, will do checkmate. Life is a tragedy when seen in close up, but a comedy in long shot, so back to the position, we learn that queen takes pawn isn't possible, so what will happen if black captures the e pawn, knight h4 will target to the queen, the position will be wide open and after the knight f6 check, 
no matter where the king will go, his all the work will go in vain, so back to the position, if black tries to play queen g6, then after rook f6, queen backs rook takes pawn. The queen will be trapped in that particular position. The pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity, the optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.